Hi friends, good morning and welcome to another edition of my inspiration for the week. Now a quick one, I decided to do this from my car this morning, you know, <laughs> it's pretty cold out there and uh, I just felt okay, uh, let's get in some, some learning this morning. Alright, I'm still on the principle that rules the world. Our world is ruled by principle. Everything we see, every result we see in our world today comes to life through some underlying principle. You know, we hear the saying that the spiritual controls the physical. That is very true. That's a principle uh, that uh, I'll be talking about some couple of days to come. All right. In a past video, I also talked about some other principles that you might want to check out. Last one was about hope. I talked about the principle of hope. Why do we need to keep hope alive? Why do we need not to give up? Why do we need to keep hoping for the best? Even the scripture says, Christ in us, the hope of glory. All right, quickly, today I want to talk about the principle of service. The principle of service. What is service? Service is an act of help, an act of kindness, an act of uh, ministration, or an act of favor. Nothing in this world is free. Nothing is actually free. Everything has a cost. No matter how cheap, no matter how easily we get things in life, we need to know that somebody already paid for it. Even salvation is not free. Jesus had to die. God had to sacrifice his only begotten son so that you and I might be saved so nothing is free so service as a principle service as a principle now the law of service states that the reward you get in life is directly proportional to the value that you add to others the reward you get in life is directly proportional to the value to the rate of value that you add to others so everything about life is about service Jesus died for service. Jesus, uh, in acting today, the Bible said, our God anointed Jesus with Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good for God was with him. Doing good, that service. Jesus, uh, you know, sat with sinners, preached to them, you know, healed the brokenhearted, did everything. He was going everywhere for three good years. Just doing good. Even the disciples did the same thing. You know, when we when we when we when we bring it down to our secular world, we, we, we we've read about the likes of Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela. These are people that lived for the people. So our life is all about service. If you are not serving humanity, your life will not count. And that is what I'm talking about quickly. The first thing that happens when we serve humanity is that, is that it makes our life count. What is the essence of the money you have? What is the essence of the world you got? What, if, what, what is the essence of the information of the knowledge that God has given to you? Do you know God did not bless you for yourself alone? No. When God called Abraham, he told him, I will make you father of all nations. He said, through you, all nations shall be blessed. That is a blessing. You know, you are not truly blessed until your life is a blessing to others. You are not really blessed. We must get to a level that we want to live for others to live. You want to breathe for others to breathe. You want to you want your life to count. When you leave this world, you're gonna be remembered for something. What is that thing? Will people rejoice that you died? Or how will they be sad that, oh, a good man has left? It depends on how good, how much service, how much value your life has gotten. Now, the number two thing that happens when we serve is that it helps us medically. Yes, when you help people, it gives you health. It contributes to your well-being. You know, science has researched that when you help somebody, your body releases an hormone called dopamine. Dopamine and oxytocin are neurotransmitters. Yeah, so these two hormones helps you to relieve stress and negative emotions. So when you're helping somebody, when you're serving, uh, when you're of 
benefit to other people, you are indirectly helping yourself. You are indirectly helping yourself. So what other thing does service do to us? When you serve, you command divine blessing. You command divine blessing. The Bible says, give and it shall be given back to you. There is no way that givers are going to lack. It could be given in terms of money. It could be given in terms of service. It could be given in terms of your time. The only thing you cannot give is what you do not have. Even the Bible said, be good to everybody, especially those of the household of faith. So service to humanity is the best thing we can ever do. So service makes our life count. Service helps us medically. And service commands divine blessing. Another thing you need to remember every day of your life, never forget that so many lives depend on you. Keep serving. God bless you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. I love you.